हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर गणेश पाटिल फ्रॉम केटेजम कॉलेज नासिक टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न चैप्टर नंबर वन इंटरेस्ट एंड एनोटी इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस ऑन कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट लेट अस रिकॉल फर्स्ट इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी डिस्कस अमाउंट ऑफ ईच सक्सेसिव पीरियड amount of each successive period becomes the principal of next term thus interest of each successive term will go on increasing for the first term both simple interest and compound interest are equal in general for n term a is equal to p in bracket 1 plus r divided by 100 bracket raised to n the compound interest is given by The formula compound interest is equal to p in bracket 1 plus r divided by 100 bracket raised to n minus 1. In general, compound interest greater than equal to simple interest on the same sum for the same period. So we learn the formula of compound interest and the amount of compound interest. The both formulas are very important. Today. Example number third. Find difference between compound interest and simple interest on rupees seventy-five thousand at four percent for four years. In this example, the given informations are P is equal to seventy-five thousand. Rate of interest R is equal to four percent. Number of term n is equal to four year, and we have to find the difference between compound interest and simple interest. The compound interest minus simple interest. Okay. Simple interest is equal to P R n divided by hundred. Put this value in this formula. We get simple interest is equal to seventy five thousand into four into four divided by hundred is equal to twelve thousand. Now, compound interest is equal to P in bracket one plus R divided by hundred bracket raised to n minus P. Put this uh, value in this formula. We get seventy five thousand in bracket one plus four divided by hundred raised to four minus seventy five thousand. After solving this, we get seventy five thousand in bracket one plus zero point zero four raised to four minus seventy five thousand. After simplifying this, we get seventy-five thousand in bracket one plus one point zero four raised to four minus seventy-five thousand. After simplifying this, we get seventy-five thousand into one point one six nine eight five eight five six. One point zero point four raised to four is equal to one point one six nine eight five eight five six. How to solve one point zero four raised to four is equal to one point zero four into one point zero four into one point zero four into one point zero four. The fourth time multiplication, and we get the answer one point one six nine eight five eight five six. After solving these, we get. Twelve thousand seven hundred thirty-six, thirty-nine. So compound interest is twelve thousand seven hundred thirty-nine, and simple interest is twelve thousand. Thus, the difference between compound interest and simple interest is seven hundred thirty-nine. The difference between compound interest and simple interest is seven hundred thirty-nine. In this problem, we calculate first simple interest, then compound interest, and then we calculate the difference between compound interest and simple interest, and we get the answer seven three nine. Okay, example number four. <coughs> A sum of money double itself in seven year. Find the rate of simple interest. In this example, we have to find 
the rate of compound interest and the given informations are a sum of money double itself therefore amount a is equal to 2x because sum of money double itself so a amount a is equal to 2x and the in 7 years so number of terms or number of year is equal to 7 so let we uh, if p is equal to x be the present value then a is equal to 2x n is equal to 7 and r is equal to question mark so we have find the rate of interest now a is equal to p in bracket 1 plus r divided by 100 bracket raised to n put this value in this formula and we get twice x is equal to x in bracket 1 plus r divided by 100 bracket raised to 7 after solving this we get 2 is equal to in bracket 1 plus r divided by 100 bracket raised to 7 here x goes to left side for division so x x cancel so we get 2 after solving this we get 2 raised to 1 divided by 7 is equal to 1 plus r divided by 7 this raised to 7 goes to the left side becomes 1 divided by 7 so 2 raised to 1 divided by 7 is equal to 1 plus r divided r by 100 after solving this we get r divided by 100 is equal to 1.1 1 .0, 1 .1 minus 1 2 raised to 1 divided by 7 is equal to 1.104 so we put this value and we get 1.104 minus 1 therefore r is equal to 0 0.104 into 100 therefore r is equal to 10.4 so required rate of compound interest is 10.4 percent per annum the rate of compound interest is 10.04 percent okay example number five what sum will amount to rupees 35,000 in five year at 10 percent per annum compound interest what sum will amount to rupees 35,000 in five year at 10 percent per annum compound interest in this example, the given informations are we have to find sum, therefore principal value, what sum, P is equal to question mark, amount to rupees 35,000, amount A is equal to 35,000. In 5 years, number of term or number of year is 5 and the rate of interest is 10%. We have formula. A is equal to P in bracket 1 plus R divided by 100 bracket raised to N. Put these values in this formula and we get 35,000 is equal to P in bracket 1 plus 10 divided by 100 bracket raised to 5. After solving this, we get 35,000 is equal to P in bracket 1 plus 0 0.1 raised to 5. After 10 divided by 100, is equal to 0 0.1 after solving this we get 35,000 is equal to P in bracket 1.1 raised to 5 after solving we get 35,000 is equal to P in bracket 1.1 raised to 5 and 1.1 raised to 5 is equal to 1.61051 the value of 1.1 raised to 5 we have to get 1.1 into 1.1 into 1.1 into 1.1 into 1.1 5 times and after multiplication the answer is 1.61051 put this value uh, in this equation and we get 35,000 divided by here 1.1 raised to 5 goes to the left side then becomes division so 35,000 divided by 1.61051 is equal to P 
After solving this, we get 21,732. So, the sum is 21,732 and this sum will amount to 35,000 in 5 years. Okay? Example number 6. Find out compound interest on rupees 75,000 for 15 per year at 12% per annum compounded quarterly. Okay. This question is next time because in this question we have to ask find compound interest and the rate of interest or the compound interest is calculated quarterly. Okay. The given informations are P is equal to 75,000, N is equal to 15 years. 15 years, but compound interest is calculated in quarterly. So, in a one year, the calculation of compound interest is four times. So, 15 years is equal to 15 into 4 is equal to 16 years. Sorry, 15 into 4 is equal to 60 terms. So, in this, in 15 years, compound interest is calculated on 60 times. R is equal to 12%. The rate of interest, 12% per annum. But, in this problem, compounded quarterly, so 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3%. So, we have formula, compound interest is equal to P in bracket 1 plus R divided by 100 bracket times 2 N minus P. Put this value in this formula, we get P is equal to 1 plus 3 divided by 100 bracket times to 60 minus 75,000. After solving this, we get 75,000 in bracket 1 plus 0 0.03 raised to 60 minus 75,000. After solving, we get 75,000 in bracket 1 plus 0 0.03 raised to 60 minus 75,000. After solving this and put the value of 1.03 raised to 60 in this equation, 1.03 raised to 60 is equal to 5.8916. We solve this by using scientific calculators or logarithm table. 1.03 raised to 60 is equal to 5.8916. After putting this value, we get 75,000 into 5.8916 minus 75,000 and we get 4,41,870 minus 75,000 is equal to 3,66,870 and the compound interest is 3,66,870. Okay. Let us remember. Let us remember the formula. The, com the amount of compound interest is A is equal to P in bracket 1 plus R divided by 100 bracket raised to N. In this formula, we have to find the amount of compound interest. And the formula of compound interest is compound interest is equal to P in bracket 1 plus R divided by 100 bracket raised to N minus 1. Remember these two, the most important formula. And after using these uh, two formula, we have to find the amount of compound interest and compound interest. Okay, students. If you have any difficulty related to this topic, you can send email on my email address. Ganesh Patil at the red cat gem college dot ac dot in. Thank you. Thank you very much.